making the classroom better for Hamilton County students. That's what the school board and its new superintendent want to do. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. The question the board is working to answer, how can they measure Dr. Johnson's success? James Torres joins us live now. James, you attended the meeting tonight with the board and Dr. Johnson. What can you tell us? Josh and Kim, that process is still in its very early stages. And the conversation here lasted about 30 minutes long. Here they talked about uh, some of the expectations that they want for Dr. Johnson and how they may go about uh, evaluating how good he is at his job. The Hamilton County School Board wants to make sure Dr. Brian Johnson can achieve goals he has for the district. At the same time, board members want the new superintendent to fix problems, like making failing schools successful. I would like to see third graders, most, you know, a huge percent of our students being able to read by the third grade. I don't think that's an unattainable goal. I think that's something that maybe he can answer if it's not done. Why? Why we can't do that? Dr. Johnson told the board all he needs are the specific milestones that county wants to achieve. He says he welcomes the high expectations. The expectations should be high. Uh, it is life or death. It's critical uh, that we are excellent all the time and that we work hard uh, tirelessly to support uh, student learning and student outcomes. Board member Joe Wingate pulled documents from Wayne, Martin and Knox counties and asked board members to look over how they evaluate their educational leaders and what methods they think are best to use here in Hamilton County. And board members will discuss those methods on Thursday during their quarterly meeting. However, they do not plan to take a final vote then. Reporting live in Hamilton County, James Torres, News Channel 9. All right, James, thank you very much. And the board also sat in on a presentation by the Regional Planning Agency. Here you see representatives presenting a real estate study. This is so the board has information about growth in our area over the next 10 years. That information will help board members make decisions on to how, re how to rezone districts and possibly where to build new schools.